What is up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys it is so cold in the uk right now as you can see i'm wearing a jumper to stay warm hoping it's a little bit warmer wherever you are in the world um yeah so as it's getting colder this means that we're getting closer to halloween which is my favorite time of the year do you know what, what i'm gonna do is i love dressing up for halloween so i will share some pictures for you guys quickly right now so you can see see some behind the scenes stuff but yeah so polarium are doing their halloween events and yeah so at the moment we've got festival frights and this i do like this layout sort of show all the different things that i've got going on for halloween right now uh, but the most important one is this halloween titan event and we can get Four, we can four stars awakening for Wukong, which is huge. He is a game changing champion. I love him on my account. I use him all the time. Great, great champion. But man, they've made it really hard. Like to get these points and um, the Halloween points that we need for this, it is really, really difficult. And I feel like Plarium, you've got this so wrong. You know, these seasonal events, this is a time for giving. This is when you're meant to give back to people that play your game, give back to the community. And, you know, other games that I played in the past, um, obviously they're not gotcha games, all, all sorts of different games, uh, mostly shooters. But what they would do is everyone gets stuff for Halloween or for Christmas or whatever seasonal time of year it is. Everyone gets stuff. And then if people want to you know, pay for things. There's extra things that you can pay for. But in general, most other games, everyone gets stuff and they're not doing it. Um, they're making it really, really hard. So first off, we'll look at Dungeon Divers, which is my most hated event for a long time now. I usually get about 3,000 points and that's with a little bit of effort. I've put no effort in this time and we're not even close. Where are we? We've just broken 2000. And yeah, it's really hard. Like Dungeon Divers is probably the hardest event for getting points in. And the first row as well, this first 2000 points, there might as well be nothing here because 15 gems, five brews. It's all of this is just trash, just awful, awful rewards. Um, obviously, we need these Halloween points for Wukong. So they're kind of good. But again, like for me to get 4,400, I'm going to have to burn a lot of resources for that. And then 5,000, you get an epic skill tome. Why can't it just be a legendary book? XP barrel, not worth it for 6,000. Again, why can't this just be something else that people want? Then we've got the Cursed Masquerade Path. Again, this is insanely hard. I think if you want to get all of these um, points, you're looking at something like 70,000 points or something, which again, that's what what are they thinking? Um, and they've given us at least three different ways to do this. So we can do this through um, basically upgrading our champions. So a champion training event, upgrading artifacts, which is probably my favorite out of all of these. But... It's going to be a lot of silver to do this, an insane amount of silver to do this. Um, soul stones, um, I've got none, um, so I'm not going to be able to use any of these. I mean, if you've got some eternal soul stones, this will make it a little bit easier. But again, three big ones of these, and you're only going to be hitting like 21,000 points. So, yeah, it's just, I don't know, for me, this is just a write-off. Um, I will, I already have upgraded some artifacts and I'll probably get the, the ones at the bottom, but that's it. I'm not going to be able to dig deep. And I just do feel like this is all about getting money from people and it is a real whale fest. Then we've got some tournaments and I think the tournaments have probably have what upset me the most. So we've got this fire knight turn attack tournament. But it's also, you can only use Demon Spawn. 
and you can have to pump you know it's 3750 points that is a lot um i've almost there though but i've had to be a little bit sneaky so we'll have a quick look and also it's three times savage so i could farm stage 20 but my runs are really slow so that makes it inefficient i know there's people out there doing stage 25 but they've got like prince kaimar and you really do need prince kaimar for that reset so that you can you know keep your turns as low as possible i don't have him and then the other champion you need who's a void legendary is kutraxa who really helps speed it up but again it's just so pointless and so most people will probably be doing stage 20 stage 20 is okay because you can get six star gear but again i just feel like it's a real waste because people aren't gonna be able to get that savage gear that everyone wants and i've been farming stage 11 which gives you low like a huge bang for your bucks it's really efficient but again i just i'm missing out on savage gear because of it so it's a real sacrifice and it has really pissed me off to be honest so not only do we have that tournament we've also got tag t uh yeah tag arena tournament going on and there's a picture of a pumpkin do you think they're going to give us halloween points for this no of course not there's nothing here to do with this so i don't even know why there's a picture of a company in there it's got nothing to do with halloween then we've got this spider turn attack tournament and again it's faction based only using dark elves i there's a few different ways in my opinion they should have done this either it's tack um turn tack only or they could have just made it like you know you get the like galleon pack so four factions rather than just narrowing it down to one makes it really really difficult and i think my there is one like thing about this though is that with dark elves though maybe trying to do normal if you're end game maybe you should actually push to do hard even if you're doing stage one on hard mode it's easier to nuke down the spiderlings than it is to like because i don't think um i don't think there is a hp burn champion for uh dark elves so maybe that's an option otherwise you know they do have the best rare champion which is cold heart but i'm sure you'd get failed runs from it so probably not the best way to go about it but i'm thinking of maybe being a bit creative maybe using like obviously we've got lydia who's amazing for um hard mode then we could maybe use Astrolith and Vizier to spread those bombs. So maybe that's an option. But yeah, I'm really going to have to really think outside out the box. Think outside the box for this one. See if I can get a team going for hard mode. But again, it is going to be very, very difficult. So I really feel like Plarium have missed the mark here. And again, they are just really thinking about end game players. Not thinking about free to play. And they're thinking about big spenders and how they can milk them for all they're worth but you know they really do need to think about early and mid game players too you know they play your game they are part of the community and if you want people like if you want player retention you need to give back and you need to start giving to people um hopefully you guys agree with me if you don't let me know in the comments below i want to know what you guys think uh, am i right Am I wrong? Please let me know. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.